हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ जिज्ञासा प्रजापति फ्रॉम शिव ज्योति एजुकेशनल ग्रुप कोटा टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग क्लास थर्ड कंप्यूटर साइंस चैप्टर टू हाउ आर कंप्यूटर वर्क्स सो ऑल यू हैव टू ओपन पेज नंबर सेवनटीन ऑफ योर कंप्यूटर बुक इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू कवर अप दिस टॉपिक्स इनपुट प्रोसेस आउटपुट इनपुट डिवाइसेस processing device and output devices let's start with input process output students we have already discussed in our previous chapter that computers take input from the user so we are the user and we give inputs to the computer a computer follows three basic steps to work as given below input process output so we give input to the computer using the input devices like keyboard mouse then computer process this input using the processing device that is process and this processing processing device give the output using the output devices on the monitor screen so now we understand each of this step one by one first is input the data instructions and commands given to a computer are called inputs so all the inputs are given to a computer using the input devices like keyboard mouse etc for example to add two numbers we will enter 2 6 and a plus symbol they all are act as a input for the computer here 2 and 6 are data and this plus symbol is an instruction that will be performed on this data next step we have process a computer accepts examines and calculates the result this is called processing processing is done by processing device that is cpu held by system cabinet in the computer for example the input instruction will be processed on the input data we have 2 6 and this plus symbol as an input now computer process this input data and give it as an output here plus operation that is input instruction will be performed on the 2 and 6 that is input data sorry data input data our next step is output the result of sorry the result given by a computer after processing is called output we can see the output of the processing data on the output devices like monitor screen or using the printer for example processed information or result will appear on the monitor screen we have it as an output of 2 plus 6 here result of 2 plus 6 will appear which is 8 so this 8 is your output let us understand by some examples example 1 we have example 1 sharpening a pencil for this example we required a blunt pencil which will act as an input now we sharpen this blunt pencil using a sharpener which will act as a process which will act as a process now we got a sharpened pencil which is a which is an output of this process next example we have coloring drawing for coloring drawing we required a sketch on paper and crayons which will act as inputs then for coloring sketch using crayons which will act as process after processing we got col colorful drawing as output now we have input devices a computer takes inputs to do work we enter the inputs through input devices computer has many input devices to input the data in the computer some of input devices are 
scanner which is used to enter the image in the computer so it convert a image into the digital form next we have a joystick a joystick is a input device which is used to play games we have a mouse which is a which is also a pointing device next we have a keyboard a keyboard is used to typing text in the computer next we have processing device the input data and instructions are processed through the processing device to convert data into useful information we have already discussed in the previous example we take two six and plus symbol as an input then computer process it and give output as an eight so this processing is done through the cpu next we have output devices a computer shows processed information or results through output devices so output devices is basically used to uh, shows the output some examples of output devices are monitor and printer monitor shows the output on the monitor screen whereas printer gives the output printed on the paper so student this is all about our chapter 2 now we have to start the book exercises our first exercise is tick the correct one in this exercise you have to choose the correct one answer and put the right mark in front of the correct one answer our first question is any instruction given to the computer is called the options are input output and process so all the instruction given to a computers are called input that are given by the user so your correct answer is input so you have to put right mark in front of input next question we have which of the following is odd the options are mouse keyboard and printer we know mouse and keyboard both are the input devices but printer is the output device so here the odd one is printer so your correct answer is printer put the right mark in front of printer next question we have processing is done on the options are input data output data and process data we have already learned that processing is done on the input data that are entered by the user so your correct option is input data put the right mark in front of input data next we have fill in the blank our first fill up is the raw facts and figures are called dash we know data are called as a raw fact and figure so our answer is data next we have the dash is a processing device we know cpu is only the processing device of the computer so write the cpu here next the processed information is called dash the process information is called the output which can be shown on the monitor screen so you have to write here output next a printed paper is called dash a printed paper that can be printed using the printer is called the print out so you have to write print out here in the next exercise we have write capital t for the true and capital f for the false statements our first statement is process instructions are called useful information so process information process instruction are called useful information it is true so we have to write capital t here next monitor is used to enter the data into the computer no monitor is not used to enter the data in the computer because monitor is the output device and input devices are used to enter the data in the computer so this is statement is false we have to write capital f here next cpu is placed inside the system cabinet yes cpu is the central processing unit which is the processing device of the computer held inside the system cabinet so this statement is true you have to write capital t here next we have 
कंप्यूटर वर्क्स ऑन इंस्ट्रक्शंस यस कंप्यूटर वर्क्स ऑन द इंस्ट्रक्शन और डेटा दैट आर एंटर्स बाय द यूजर यूजिंग द इनपुट डिवाइसेस सो दिस स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू यू हैव टू राइट कैपिटल टी हियर आर नेक्स्ट एक्सरसाइज इज मैच ईच पार्ट ऑफ द कंप्यूटर विद द करेक्ट ग्रुप बाय ड्राइंग लाइंस सो वी हैव थ्री ग्रुप्स इनपुट डिवाइस processing device and output device our first part of computer is monitor we know monitor shows the output on the monitor screen so it is an output device so you have to put uh, so you have to draw a line to the output device next we have mouse we know mouse is the input device as it input to the computer so you have to draw a line towards input device next we have printer printer gives the output in the form of print outs on the paper so printer is the output device so you have to draw a line towards output device next we have keyboard keyboard is the input device as it enters the text by typing so you have to draw a line towards the input device last we have cpu cpu is processing device of the computer so you have to draw a line toward the processing device so today we have finished the book exercise of chapter 2 thank you have a nice day